Hey, everybody. I know I look like death warmed over, but please listen tomorrow. MPS is having a special call board meeting. Do you hear me? Special call board meeting to renew the superintendent's contract. What I need y'all to do is listen. Listen. All right. Listen. Call each board member. Starting off with Dr. Key. She's with District 1. Her phone number is 546-0693. Durden Dean, District 2. Phone number 215-8616. Eleanor Dawkins, 262-1301. Mayor Bryce, 281-7316. Melissa Snow. That's just how I feel like. Every time I call that name, call her at 244-1626, Porterfield, 264-8566, Roberta Collins. They have the district's number down, 223-6710. But I posted their phone numbers and what schools are in their district so you will know who you're represented by. You need to call them and tell them to table the superintendent's contract. It is very critical. Um, I was being silly earlier, but seriously, this contract extension or renewal needs to be um, shut down until the state superintendent um, comes in with Governor Bentley, and they need to do a review of Montgomery Public School System. We have met the criteria for state takeover. We really have. I have placed a um I have placed a petition on change.org and you can find it on my Facebook page so that the state um can come in, Governor Bentley can come in just like he did for Alabama State because our school system is in danger. And presents a danger for all children. It's very critical that you understand they do not follow state or federal laws. They are in non-compliance with the state right now in its focus monitoring report. In its um, CFO duties uh, and qualifications and everything, monthly report, finance reports, money isn't being allocated properly, therefore students are not getting the services they need. We have something called a catastrophic trust fund for special needs children, and it is not being explained to parents who need, uh, for example, therapeutic prayer for professionals. These things are made available by the Ways and Means Committee, education in the legislature. Legislator. And nobody knows about this. So when I tell y'all tomorrow, 5 p.m., be at the auditorium in the central office at the Board of Education, you need to be there. You need to call. And they're doing it at 5 o'clock when most of y'all are getting out of work. That's why I'm saying you need to call and make this a priority. It is very important that we do this. Uh, I remember when uh, Superintendent Allen was acting as the interim and uh, your interim superintendent while uh, Barbara Thompson was in her little, how they were handling her about the grade change and uh, scandal and before she resigned. It was December, about four years ago, I would uh, think, about four or five years ago, we were at Carver High School's uh, cafetorium. Her husband and her daughter were there. And... She said she didn't want the position. She wasn't going to take it. Two or three weeks later, bam, she's the, she's named the new superintendent. I have no problem with that. My issue is if you're not leading the people, if you're being misled and misguided, if you're not here for the children, you are the leader. If you know that these department heads and these um, division managers are not doing their job, you can rec make a recommendation for their termination. Why is the CFO still there? Why is Katrina Johnson, the special ed director, still there? Not following the state of Alabama 
rules, let alone your own board policies and federal law. So we're keeping them because are they kidding somebody? What's going on? Anyway, if they were a coach, just assume you were Nick Saban. You would be the greatest. You're not. You're not. Um, Nick Saban, if his players on his team fail to catch the ball, fail to run the ball, fail to block, fail to punt correctly, uh, he would be dismissed, terminated, like a whole lot of uh, coaches were this year. It's time to stop playing with these kids and their education and safety. Priority are getting the children quality education, all children. Some children are walking over two and a half miles. That's against federal and state law. That's okay. We'll be up there tomorrow, 5 p.m., Central Office Auditorium, 307 South Gator Street. They... You know, you all do things so that parents won't attend meetings and make it look like we have no parent involvement. The ones who work, still at work, are just getting off at 5 or going to second shift. This is Montgomery, Alabama. What do we have here? Most of the Hyundai plants and the subsidiaries that most people work or their teachers or work for the state, don't they don't get off till 5. Listen, people, wake up. Wake up. Our superintendent, Margaret Allen, God bless her soul, is being misguided and misled by Todd Strange, look like, just like Barbara Thompson was. Wake up and let's start firing these people.